Greetings, greetings, greetings. I want to extend a welcome from Messengers of Light to each of you. If you're here for the first time, we say welcome. If you have been part of our regular attendees at our BTI or Bible Training Institute, we want to say again, welcome back. Uh, you and I know as we study together that there is a crisis that is developing all around us. And this announcement has something to do with that crisis. And I want you to hear very significantly uh, what's happening. Before we talk about that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful that we have the privilege of being your children, of being a part of the team that you are raising up to finish this work in this final generation. Bless us as we spend this short time together looking at the crisis that is developing us, around us and showing us what to do. Abide with us now, we pray and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. We know that there is a crisis developing. If you've been studying with us at BTI, you are very familiar with a text of Scripture in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter. All of the prophecies in Daniel are leading up to this one place. In Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, the Bible says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. Now, we know that this trouble is coming. In fact, in the book Welfare Ministry, page 136, the prophet of God says that grievous troubles would arise among the nations, troubles that will not cease until Jesus comes. Now, if you study that quotation carefully, you'll recognize that when the prophet was alive, she said that the troubles had not yet started, these grievous troubles. But she says soon, in other words, when the prophet would die, that after her time, there would come a grievous trouble and that would start something that would not stop or cease until Jesus comes. And if you study history and Bible prophecy, you are aware that that time in a special sense began in 2020. 2020 was the beginning of the end prophetically. We have done a series in which we've walked this through in BTI and in other places on our website. But I want to alert us to the fact that from 2020 forward, trouble would not get better. The trouble would increase more and more until Jesus comes. We're in that time right now. In fact, one of the, the reasons why we're making this announcement is for that very thing. We just recently in BTI started a series that was called The Final Generation, The Mercy Seat, and The Ministry of Healing, in which we are studying from the Bible the importance of health reform and medical missionary work and the part it plays in finishing the gospel in this final generation. Well, in the process of doing those recordings and sharing them with you, uh, there was a certain channel that censored and tagged some of the uh, 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 videos and tried to pull them off from the internet. And they warned us and said if we continued, they would completely take it off because of certain words that were used concerning the disease, the pandemic that is spread worldwide, and other words that you are very familiar with that people talk about, things that you should take or not take. You, you, you understand what I mean. These words like that, they said because they were used in their place in prophecy, that they did not want it to be mentioned. This is another indication that trouble is increasing that the message of truth is trying to be stifled and smothered. But God is going to have men and messages that will go through them as if they were daubed with untempered mortar. Nothing can stop God's message. And so we are working some, on something behind the scenes in developing a platform in which the unadulterated gospel present truth message may reach the masses all the way through internet land, on the, uh, on, online, wherever you are. Uh, but... That is behind the scenes in the working. We want to get that as fast as possible, but we're not able to present that to you this week. On Friday, we will present uh, the messages in an audio format, but it would have the same truths that you can study with that will help you to see why the devil does not want you to hear those messages. So please, tune in this Friday. Take your pen and paper. Take notes. Make sure that you're listening, that you understand, and then we're going to get that platform together in which we can give all the messages necessary. Now, if you want to follow this study, this special study that the devil tried to take offline, then please visit our website at molministry.com 
and you will be able for yourself to study with it and follow us as we week by week show how to prepare and get to know Jesus as a friend and get our families ready for this crisis and reach as many as we can before it is too late. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for your prayers and your support that has been overflowing this year, even in the time of the pandemic, showing that you want to finish this work. Let us continue to press together as we seek to get all things ready for the coming crisis. May God bless you. We'll see you next time.